Hello, my brother, and welcome to another Brood War ladder cast. This time we've got a selection of a few games from Efforts Play on the Ladder. Here he is spawning in the bottom right. Not the largest names as his competition, but I've selected three games that are probably going to be pretty decent ones. And uh, we'll see how it goes here. I'm hoping for at least one banger out of these three, but. It's always a pleasure to cast Effort. Haven't seen him around for a while. Of course, that's because of a wrist injury that he suffered from uh, last year. He wasn't able to participate in this season of KCM because of that. But it's really nice to see him back in the saddle here. 400 APM, just banging away at that keyboard. He must have recovered, at least for the most part, to be, you know, Struggling away on ladder once again. Hopefully see him this season. And just looking forward to watching this game here. Watching him perform here. See what kind of shape he's in. Now, his opponent, Promise, in the top left-hand corner. I really don't know too much about this guy. Another uh, amateur pro. Who's gone for a gateway first here at the front. Doing a little bit of harassment on this initial drone. Not going to get that drone, but putting pretty good amount of damage on that. Whereas not a lot of damage has gone onto the probe, actually. Oh, he's trying to hide it, but he's actually going to get caught here. Oh, is he going to lose the drone? This could be really, really bad. I think he loses it, actually. Wait a minute. Oh, ho, ho. fancy footwork there from effort. I'm going to make it into an extractor here. That is a very quick extractor as well. 2 minute 30. Might as well throw it down since you're being blocked here at the natural. You really can't. Uh, I mean, you could throw it your natural down here. But it's it's just really painful. So effort instead here on Dark Origin. going to pop out those lings, the six lings, to go ahead and knock down that pesky pylon at the front. That was not canceled. That was finished. He had to knock that down. He's got his gas already, though. Let's see what he wants to do with it. Is he going to go directly into speed here? That's what I'm imagining he's going to do. Oh, my God. He's already got this around here. Beautiful pullback on the Ling there just to keep that alive as long as possible. Can he get the kill on this Zealot? I think he will. And can he run by as well? Oh, he's only going to get one Ling in there. Okay, he got... He was going to get one Ling in there, but he went for the probe instead. So he trades his Lings for... A zealot and a probe. That was six lings for one zealot, one probe. Was it worth it? Uh, I'm not 100% on that. I feel like in this position, Promise is going to be feeling pretty good. He's going to walk across the map and force a bunch more lings to be produced. There's really no two ways about it. Speed is now on the way. Looks like he pulled drones out for a moment. In order to get this hatchery up, he's put the drones back on the gas now. And he started his hydralis den. Only two on the gas uh, here in the main. But he needs to get these lings out and prevent these zealots from scouting. He's just going to come in and see this now. So a little bit unfortunate here for effort. His tech has been revealed. No layer here. So not going to have to prepare for, you know, some sort of mutilist timing or anything like that. He knows for a fact that this is just going to be Hydras. How many Hydras is the real question? Running behind there. Getting some good information. Looks like the Ling managed to get in the main, of course. The Zealots were absent from that wall-in. So he manages to get the Ling inside. He's hiding that quite well here in the back. We'll see if he just waits for that to heal up. Or what does he want to do with that? Does he want to bring it around and try to hit the, ca the cannon main or something? Or uh, the cannon in the natural? Let's see what he decides to do. He's going to go for a probe here. Probably going to get that. Okay, he does get that, but gets taken out. A little bit sad there to lose that Ling after just killing one probe. But one probe, pretty decent damage. You did see it that the Stargate started here and the timing on that. So he knows exactly when that's going to be coming. A lair does start in the natural, actually. Very interesting stuff. Going for the lair after the Hydralis Den was spotted. So... The Zealots came in. They saw the Hydra Den. He starts the lair in the natural. The Zealots died back here, so they never saw that lair getting started. So maybe we will see some sort of Hydra or Mutalis play. Um, and just skipping over Hydra. No, there's the Hydralisk upgrade. Never mind. 
Hydralis will be on the way, but in how high of number? And what are we going to do with this lair? Is it going to be for a lurker? Um, I don't know why you would start speed first, though, if you're going to go straight into lurkers here. Um, plus, there's not a lot of drones yet. Mm, I'm wondering what's going to end up happening here. What are we going to see from effort? Our uh, Protoss player throwing down triple cannon here. Not able to get any scouting information, so he's going to be really, really careful. Throw down all these cannons, and he can actually cancel one of them if he doesn't see Hydra. So he sees the Hydra, so he will not, not be canceling any of these cannons. And with three finishing up at the front, he should be feeling quite safe. No Hydras left back at home, but one does pop out just in the nick of time to save the overlords here. To be able to pull this Hydra back into the main and keep those alive. I just making their way to the front right now. This is a horizontal wall, so not as easy to pick off this forge. In fact, you can't kill it uh, when there's these two cannons right there. So, effort starting to add on some more hatcheries here. Droning up quite heavily. We did see one cannon start and then get canceled. He starts it again, which is a little bit interesting. Continuing to start and cancel it. He cancels it again. That does cost money. It's not free, but I understand the, the idea behind it. It's like, keep checking. Have the cannon on the way. If the attack is incoming, then you just let the cannon finish. If it's not, you cancel. Get some of the money back, and you can continue along your way. It's kind of a safety measure. Um, but doing it too many times could prove costly. Doesn't seem like he's overusing it, though, now. He's just kind of letting that not... Uh, finish or start again now second gas has been revealed but no mining here at the second gas yikes um definitely want to start that right away okay he does get that in we will be able to start mining this gas now and setting up some creep colonies here and there hydras are ready uh lings as well now this i don't think is a tight wall but if you move the uh egg over to the left hand side you should be able to block this it just he's not doing it right now um zealots can run through there i believe hydralis den on the left hand side or the right hand side is tight to zealots and evolution chamber below hatchery is tight to zealots but other than that oh boy here we go zealots getting right on top of this uh links are gonna come from behind one overlord does go down drones are gonna fight here good drone drill there at the end to uh, finish off those zealots and make sure that he doesn't lose any sunken colonies here. Well, he's only got one, but he doesn't lose the one sunken colony. That's great. Keeping that alive. And he's a little bit exposed to the potential of DT, but there's no DT here right now, which is fantastic. Overlord's going to finish and Overlord speed will be done. So he's not going to take any extra damage from something like that. And no DT actually being in, uh, in production here. For promise just one high templar and the storm is done so 15 seconds he'll have a storm available plus one armor is on the way we have plus one attack nearly complete here effort gonna come running up he's gonna gun down this templar i think go for the templar effort what are we doing that's a free templar kill right there he does go for it finally picking that off storm is now available but just now so he wasn't able to storm during that attack. <laughs> Unfortunate there for Promise. He loses one Templar. Good pickoffs from Effort. Effort, gonna back away for now. You cannot push into here any longer. Gonna move on to six hatch Hydra production. A third gas on the way. We should have Lurker. There it is. Lurker is coming here. Oh, could lose this Overlord here. Gotta be careful with that. Want to keep an overlord at the front. Looks like he was supply block for a moment as well. Now getting his production back online, but needs to keep these overlords running right now. Six more drones in production. We're going to go up to 51 drones here on three bays. It's a little bit excessive right now for effort. Unfortunately, does end up losing that overlord. And as more pop out, he will continue that production. Eight more hydras on the way. How does he want to... Play this game out a lot of zerg players on this map if we could zoom out for a minute want to take control of this area right here with lurkers if you can hold this area with lurkers uh you can force the protoss to come into you at a bad angle across the bridges it's not a 
Uh, easy thing to do here is Protoss to break those bridges, so... Ooh, another great storm there, but a good dodge. Really good dodge there. Not over-dodging at all either. Not over-moving his Hydros. Just moving the absolute bare minimum to get them out of the storm. Uh, and then turning to fight once again. Building some Lurker Eggs to make it impossible for these Zelts to come across this ramp. Or at least uh, very, very difficult. Unfortunately, does lose the presence over that fourth base. Uh, and Promise will push him off of that while simultaneously pushing him away from this third promise can take now lurker eggs being morphed around here being a little bit fancy is effort right now but as the lurkers come out the fanciness will end and the grindiness will begin it's time to start grinding this out in a longer game oh the lurkers are gonna all burrow right here right now there's no storm for this and so the lurkers get some great hits actually clearing out all of these zealots they absolutely did their job and now he can start to shove across. Can he get across the bridges here? The Templar are actually running home. Afraid to get sniped by those uh, Hydras that are coming out. And he is going to go for those snipes. He gets one. Can he get a second one? A great storm there on that Lurker and these this small group of Hydras. I think the Dragoons can finish this off now with the support of the Zealots. Do we have any more rallies coming forward? Because Effort certainly does. Effort being shoved back for now. The same can be said for the Protoss player. As long as they're across on this side of the bridge, it makes it very hard for the Zerg to push across. But I think we're going to have a stalemate situation here for a little bit. With Protoss sitting on this side of the bridges. And Zerg sitting on this side of the bridges with Lurker. Now, we do need to set up this area because that's the, the obvious transition. Is We're going to get this base online. We'll hold down this area. Have those cannons ready. Oh, stopping the cannons from getting through here. And Effort's going to hit this right-hand side at the same time. A great double-pronged attack here from Effort. Just before more Templar can hit the field. One more Templar is going to come out here, but it does not have the energy. Targeting that down, but not going to be able to get it here. Unfortunately, the energy is still not quite there, but he's managed to zone out the Protoss from this base area. Looks like he's just barely managed to push him back, though. Dude, that was really, really close. Uh, if Effort had stayed, he probably would have lost all of his Hydras, but we might have been able to snipe all the Dragoons. I don't know. Would have gotten really close there. Uh, instead, deciding to kind of back off here, start to, so, to make some more Lurkers up here on the high ground. If you can get Lurkers on this high ground, it's really dirty. Along with Lurkers along here, you're going to be in a pretty good spot. Like one uh, Corsair still doing some damage. He's actually going to come in once again. Then another double pronged attack here from Effort. Um, looks like he might be able to kill one of these cannons, but there is an observer there regardless. Uh, Hydra is still pushing across this ramp. Where are the Templar right now? Dude, we don't have any Templar. Zealots are just going to fight here along with the Dragoons, and they're not going to trade that well against a pure Hydra. Effort overwhelming. With these Hydralis numbers, dude, I think he might just barely be able to do it here. Not making enough Templar. You can see 800 gas banked up here for Promise. Promise just getting completely overwhelmed by the alien Zerg. Third base will go down, and with that, the hopes of keeping this game alive for the Protoss race will be snuffed out. There's the Templar. My god, a wave of Templar comes out. But a lot of these were properly dodged by effort. He makes an Archon, but he wastes a lot of those storms. He's going to make some Lurkers in order to just buy a little time and finish off that Nexus. Beautifully done here by effort. Dude, effort is godlike with the macro, man. He's so fancy as well with his uh, control. Really impressive stuff. Going to come over and just snipe that Archon. This fight is terrible for the Protoss, so you'll have to back off. He really doesn't have much left at this point. He's got a couple of Observers. He's got a handful of Zealots, and another group of Dragoons makes his way to the front. He will try to retake this Nexus, but more drones are coming out here. 57 workers now. He will get that uh, fourth gas online here pretty soon. With that fourth gas, you can produce kind of an overwhelming number of lurkers and get your hive on the way at the same time. Keeping the upgrades going, we will get to triple upgrade here. And he's just going to do the same double-pronged pincer attack here. 
Coming in from behind. Nice dodging here with the uh, Hydras getting out of the way of that storm. Good preemptive splitting here from Effort. Zealots are going to come from multiple angles, but all the Templar just die. And he will back off. How did he manage to get out of there with any Hydras whatsoever? That was almost a complete surround by the Protoss, but we still got eight Hydras out of that situation. Pretty insane. Not sure how exactly he does it, but Effort making it look easy. Battling here with uh, Layer Tech against the decked out Protoss army, right? We've got the Templar, we've got the Dragons, and the Zealots just still not quite able to fight here. Just be uh, primarily, I think, because of the dodging uh, on the Storms. He's just done such a great job of dodging Storms and sniping down Templar whenever he has the chance. Never taking a bad fight is effort in this uh, game so far. And that's a lot of Zealots. They're ready just in case the Hydras try to come across this ramps here. Um, these Templar don't have energy. Oh! Templar almost getting sniped there once again. I think it's time to go around the army here. Leave a couple Templar back at home at each base. And uh, perhaps go around the, the bottom side here. There's nothing actually over on this side. So he could move around this army and try to flank. He's thinking about it. He's thinking about it right now, but he doesn't have long to think. Defiler's Mount is on the way, and this army is going to close in on this position. He's lost his opportunity, I feel, here to break out easily. If he can come through here, you can get a nice open area fight uh, where you don't have to squeeze across bridges or this tiny little area here on the left-hand side. He's just kind of let that slip by, though, afraid of a counterattack coming across these bridges, which could wipe out his third for a second and final time. Oh no, losing a Dragoon there. Pretty painful. Three Lurkers over here. This is still breakable. We could break this. We need to leave Templar behind to make sure that we don't die at home. But with only three, oh sh With only three Lurkers here, it is entirely breakable. He's gonna run forward. Oh, great targeting on the Dragoons. Dude, look at the Dragoons just melt here. Absolutely crazy. Zealots are gonna fight, but pure Zealot versus Dragoon, it does not feel good. Oh, sorry, pure Zealot versus a Lurker does not feel good. Look at how many of them are just splashing here. All of those Lurkers will end up going down, but at the at what cost here? So many Zealots falling. And just take a look at the middle of the map right now. So much Zerg here for effort. He's fully mining his fourth base now. He's uh, completely ramped up in production. He's gonna have Hive uh, with the uh, Defiler out here very, very soon. Storms come down. Effort just backing right out of them and counterattacking flawlessly, effortlessly here, truly. Forcing the Protoss army back. And now Effort gonna continue to close the noose here. What can Promise do? Is it time to pop out a shuttle or something? We need to do something other than what we've just been doing so far. He's gonna try and push here on the left-hand side once again. Coming into position here, getting a pretty good spot for his Dragoons, but where's the storm? He doesn't throw down the storm. He makes an Archon instead. I guess those were out of energy. Dragoons trying to fight, but we just don't have the critical mass. The sniping on the Dragoons has been crazy this game. He's done so much damage every single time. Promise is trying to move out, and GG is called Promise Taps. And Effort takes this first game. A beautiful display of raw skill here from Effort. Effort, absolute legend of Zerg. Hope to see him back in the ASL this season, but we've got more games to check out here before we go Two more games, in fact. Let's jump in to that next game. Maximum effort. Spawning down here in the bottom right-hand corner. Another unnamed Protoss player here. Another amateur pro in the top right. I believe his name is Dyuk Chul. And we've got an overpool here from effort. Glad to see it. Forge fast expand from Dyuk Chul. Looking forward to seeing the alien Zerg. 
harvest some more Protoss tears here. Let's see what he can do. There's that hatchery. He did manage to get that down without too much harassment. So the probe harass, not nearly on the same level uh, as our previous Protoss, Promise. Did a great job of tracking down that drone. Almost got the kill. But didn't quite pick off that early drone here. Our Protoss player being much more conservative with that probe. We'll see the lings coming across the map here. But the cannon is nearly halfway complete. And you should be fine to just continue to check out the main. Move around here and throw down the gateway in the front at the same time. Make sure that those lings don't easily run by. Here's that cannon warping. It's going to be a close timing. There it is. It just finishes. And those lings will be denied. No way to get in there and deal any damage. So... Um, okay, he's actually going to try and run by. You might be able to get one Ling by. Okay, he does get one Ling. I thought there was going to take one shot there for sure. But one Ling in the main. Um, it's not the end of the world here. But effort. 477 APM. He can do a lot with this probe. With as much APM as he has, he can absolutely kill some probe. Or with this one Z Zergling, excuse me. He can absolutely kill some probes. Ling here. One kill so far. We'll keep an eye on that. See how many kills he manages to get. Another Ling here at the front. Looks like he pushed the other pro back into the main. And is going for a layer here. So nothing crazy coming out of effort this time. He wasn't pushing to a corner like last game. Last game was uh, a little bit wild with the pylon block. And, you know, he had to get the gas super early. And he went for a Hydra bus that was scouted. And yeah, it just everything was pretty wacky. What I'm seeing right now from Effort is that he's getting to play his normal game, which uh, I don't know what's scarier. Is Effort who gets to play his normal game scarier or Effort who is pushed into a corner scarier? Uh, I don't know. I think that um, he's pretty frightening in either circumstance, but right now he's got full information. This might actually be the scariest of all. He's been able to play his game and he's got absolute total information of what you're doing at home with the Ling inside the main. That is a scary uh, effort to take on indeed. Now he's just going to keep on running around here endlessly kiting this Zealot forever. Try to get another kill or two if he can, but mostly just keep tabs on what is actually coming here from our Protoss. Meanwhile, throwing down a Spire at home. He's throwing down... Oh, I love this. He's throwing down the Spire in the natural. Dude, I do this. I actually like to put it here. Personally. I feel like it's harder to snipe. Although, maybe with a dragon push, you could snipe that. But I really like this. Oh, Ling Speed is done. He could get another kill here. Oh, almost. We'll keep an eye on that. Um, Because I feel like Zealots so often run by into your main or you get a drop. And they always go for the Spire. So I like to put it in the natural just because, you know, if you, you lose your Spire, it's quite a pain. Does get one more kill. Two kills on that Ling and it goes down. Um, I really like it. I really, really like it. Glad to see Effort doing that too. I, I, now I know I'm not crazy, guys. I know I'm not crazy. Effort proving it to me. He knows it's good. Hydralis Den here at the natural. So we'll be getting those upgrades rolling. Evolution Chamber over here at the third. This is pretty typical. Pretty typical setup. You have to be careful though. The Zealots can still run through there. Um, so, you know, you have to you have to move Larva over to this side if you want to block that. Uh, here the gap is pretty huge. But he's going to pop out a ton of lings just in time for these Zealots as they arrive. And a lot of better Protoss players will actually send these, pro these uh, Zealots home. But... It's, it's kind of like a honesty check, right? Those three zealots come across the map. They just, they're just they just poking in to see like, hey, did you actually make lings or are you just sitting there making drones only? Um, and any good zerg player is going to be able to, as they see the three lings coming out, make those ten lings, uh, those three 
Zealots coming out, they're gonna be able to make those lings to, to be able to get rid of that. Double Stargate follow-up, wow. Trying to get some hits off here with these Scourge, but primarily the most important thing, he sees the double Stargate. It's not making anything right now, but, okay, what is he doing? He's not making any Corsairs. That's kind of crazy. Full on Hydra's being produced right now, and a Spore Colony. I love, I I love effort, man. Effort's so smart. He's gonna build one spore colony here. If he builds another spore colony here, dude, it's it's so good. Because you know, probably there's gonna be a DT. And if you lose all your overlords, the spore colony is just so good. It helps out with the Corsairs and it keeps you from getting overwhelmed by the, the DTs. So I love to see it. Very, very smart play from him. Oh, gets a hit with the Scourge as well. Um, Zealot's going to make their way forward. Great little position here to hold. Would be made better by an extra building here, but hell, it's not really that big of a deal. We've got enough Hydras here to hold everything back. Don't even have Zealot Speed yet. Zealot Speed is just about to come up here. He's going to put all the Overloads on top of it. But what he's really going to do is just run away from the Corsairs. He's going to try to avoid them the best that he can. Catching all of these Zealots is beautiful. The Zealots are going to go down super, super quick. And now he's on full attack mode. Sending the Hydras across the map with the Overlords. And what do you have on the ground, man? Probably not much. Just a group of Zealots. And he's got the Archives here. But he does not have Storm even started in the research tab. Look at that, a thousand gas banked up right now. Protoss players, what are you thinking right now? What are you thinking this series? What is happening here? There's the Templar, or the, the storm upgrade. He's gonna start a bunch of Templar now. He did make two more cans, but he cancels one. Wow, I'm surprised to see him cancel that. That's a lot of Hydras, and there could be a lot more behind it. Effort here, just going to stay back at home, be a little defensive. He loses quite a few Hydras here. That was not a great position to spread your Hydras. It's tempting to get in a good arc there, but if the Zealots come running out and surround, you are going to lose a lot of them, and he loses two Overlords. That's not great. That is not great. This is not where we want to be right now as Effort. We'd like to be making some drones. We're not quite where we want to be just yet. We don't want to be pumping a whole bunch of overlords. We're at 40 now. That's pretty good. That's pretty much where we want to be. Fourth base is going to get targeted here. Um, sixth hatch is just about done. There it is. It does pop. Zealot's here. Making their way around. Still a difficult position to run into, into down here. So he's probably not going to attack that base for now at least. Plus one is done for effort. Plus one, one, one. Or plus one, plus one is here for our Protoss as well. And we are going to be going into a few more drones, but also Lurker upgrade with that third gas up and rolling. It's time to get that going. Here we go with the storms. Dropping a couple storms right on the face of effort here as he tries to run up. Just two groups of Hydras. Not going to be enough to fight this many Zealots at this point in the game. Maybe enough to snipe a Templar or two, though. Great snipe there. Another great snipe by Effort. Always on the move with these Hydras, picking off Templar wherever he can. Great play by him. One more Templar to make its way over towards the natural, though. That could be deadly if it manages to make its way over here to where these... Uh, Hydras are hiding in the Sim City. Zealots are making their way forward here. It's gonna target down the Spore Colony. There's the Templar. Where's the Storm? Oh, the Storm. It's available. When is he gonna use it? He's waiting for a very long time here before using it. Using it on the reinforcement Hydras that are coming forward here. The Corsairs are getting a lot of damage on a ton. Oh, oh, the Egg Wall. Beautiful Egg Wall here, but now it's going to prevent him from coming in to save the uh, Spire as well. The Spire goes down. Dude, the Templar is saving up that energy. Only five more seconds, and he will have a storm for all of these drones. He's missing it. He's not paying attention. Oh, my God. Effort. No. No effort. 
Oh my god. Well, it wasn't as bad as I thought, but five kills still. Pretty painful. After all that damage went down to eat those extra drone kills as well. That extra drone damage is pretty darn bad now. Effort is going to bounce back slowly here, but for now he's just going to be producing Hydras. Hydras, Hydras, Hydras. A few lurkers here and there uh, to start pressuring this front. He wants to deal some damage. A storm comes out. Great storm there to get rid of that Templar. Or to get rid of that lurker, excuse me. And a few more Templar in the back are going to save him, keep him alive. So, oh! Oh my god, a 10 kill DT made it way, its way into the base. I will have to picture and picture that, guys. I'm so sorry. 10 kills on that. Managing to slip by in all the chaos? I did not see it. You can bet effort didn't either. And now we're down to 26. 26 workers. Oh my god. Dude, I think effort's going to be... Uh, Kicking himself for not building an extra building here to make this wall a little bit tighter. Had this been a little tighter, you know, it's such a big gap right here. Had that been a little tighter, he might have been able uh, to stop those zealots from running by and getting into his natural. Lurkers go down here at the front to a couple quick storms and a good uh, aggressive push by these dragoons. Now, I just catching the dragoons as they're coming up the ramp. Is pretty good. Great dodges here, but that final storm clearing out a lot of these hydras. He did force out a lot of storm, and he killed a lot of dragoons, though. So that was a really reasonable trade for effort to make at this point in the game. Manages to make the best out of that bad situation. Still a dire spot here for effort. Can he somehow bring this back? I, I don't quite see it, but we'll have to see how this next engagement goes because it could be the last a wave of zealots should be coming out here in a moment oh it's all dragoons interesting just pure dragoon coming up here how many storms do you have it's got one two storms available let's see how they land one dt in there one great storm a second storm should be coming out here shortly. Dragoons are starting to go down. That second storm a little bit too good. Too many Hydras falling. He is pushing things back because a lot of the Dragoons are not attacking from up there on the high ground. He snipes that uh, Observer and he will get the Archon as well. One Templar there on the high ground. Not going to be sniped. The Dragoons hold this position strong. And still only 34 workers. Man, he was almost 50 workers before that attack earlier. Not mining enough gas right now. Only mining on two, two on gas, and he's not mining this gas at all. So s pumping out lurkers is going to be very hard right now. He even starts carapace. I don't know if that's what you need at this moment, Larva. I, I feel like we need something drastic. Um, not a an upgrade that's going to kick in, you know, in a few minutes. Looks like he's going to run forward here. Snipe down a lot of these Dragoons. The Goons are not taking a great trade against the pure Hydra here with no Storm support and no Zealots able to make their way forward. But as the dust settles here, I think the Zealots will stream uh, out and the Dragoons that remain will be enough to have that DPS to eventually shut down this Zerg player. He's getting pushed all the way back into the natural now. Great egg. Wow, what an egg there. Only two HP on that. But it holds all the zealots out. Dude, the positioning there. That is actually zealot tight on both sides. How did he manage to do that in the heat of that battle? That is craziness. Coming up from the back here. Trying to deal a little bit more damage. His... Oh, did I hear a drop as well? A drop into the main at the same time. DT going to go to work here on these drones as all this chaos is happening in the natural. He loses the hatchery. He's going to have to tap out. Dude! What a crazy game. This Protoss player is something else, man. That was a wild one. Managing to make it work here over Effort, who is just such a godly macro player. Slipping in, though, with the Zealots. Dude, once you get past the natural and you get start running around Zealots everywhere inside the main and natural, 
things get so weird and he made the best out of that situation by having the DT in there. I'm going to go back and picture and picture that guys. You can go ahead and jump into game number three. Effort versus Protoss here. Game number three. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video so far. I know I've enjoyed making it. So if you did, make sure to leave a like on the video. You guys know the drill. Try to blow this video up. This is uh, a ton of fun. And I'm really glad that we see Effort back in the scene. Let me know in the comments below if you agree. Now, Effort here. He's brown. We'll change him to red. Going to be playing this last game out on Fighting Spirit. Not my favorite map, but you've heard me complain about it enough so I'll just move on forward another over pool here looks like no nine pool wait a second hold up interesting a nine pool I'm very curious to see how he plays this out okay extractor trick I think this will be pretty normal then Nine pool extractor trick. We'll probably build six links or four links, depending on what he sees here with this overlord. And we'll get a natural out pretty soon. So, I mean, this is scary for the Protoss player. If you, for example, went Nexus first, you could just straight up die. Uh, if you don't come in here and see the uh, spawning pool, if you don't come in and see the spawning pool, if, for example, you scouted the wrong direction and you end up coming in here right as the drone is arriving and you try to block the drone um, while back at home you haven't started the cannon yet, six lings could suddenly pop out and then you start the cannon it's not done in time. You can just straight up lose that way too. So it's a strong way to play if you think your opponent might be getting greedy. It's also strong against this gateway first, right? Like, you can overwhelm the early zealots. Great snipe there on the ramp. This reverse ramp is pretty tough to maneuver around, but effort getting the better of his Protoss opponent here on that ramp. Able to catch him in one of those kind of like off pixels. Uh, that your units can sometimes get stuck on and the links will make their way across the map now this is this this is this difficult part against the nine pool um the links are here pretty darn early we don't have a third zealot yet he did pull both zealots to actually fight this so he's risking allowing the links to run into the main but he's done a great job playing ring around the rosy here with the zealots and okay two links will run in this is the scary part the two links do get in but he's going to be able to go across in pressure and there are not many drones right now. Seven drones total. That is pretty darn rough here for effort. He's tried to go into three uh, hatchery as you do. Uh, but he has to produce links now. He's got to produce these links. So he made six more links. Oh, he's going to lose a probe. Nice snipe there. Picking that off. Two cells going to make their way in here. Oh, he missed it. Oh, dude. He could have caught that against this wall here. He would have been totally fine. But now they're going to get behind the mineral patches, it looks like. And that's going to be super annoying. He also sees how many links are, are coming out here. And that's quite bad right now for Effort. Effort still getting maybe some damage here in the main. We got one kill so far. He loses a ling, though. The Zealots are doing very well back here. Oh, my God. Effort not controlling this properly at all. Yikes, dude. And a zealot makes his way over to the third. Double yikes. This is getting really bad right now. Effort is kind of getting outplayed, actually. Um, you need to set up the links on both sides. Okay, he's going to do it right this time. But he lost a lot of links there. There we go. See how much better that is when you set it up properly? Uh, last time he allowed links to attack this side and then that side. Just things were not going well for him. Um, another zealot gonna hide over here. This is a really smart play. Uh, baiting with the zealot over here at the third, and now gonna send the zealot into the natural. Maybe even up into the main. As the links go to clear that. Um, okay, breaks off just four links to fight this. 
and it's gonna bring the rest back to to chase this down he might be able to get behind the mineral patches again or maybe go after a drone yeah he goes behind the mineral patches it's so annoying i complain about it constantly on my ladder games but uh this is exactly what you should do here as a protoss player just get as much value out of these units as possible he's really lowered that drone count finally five drones are going to come into the production tab but he's just taking so much damage this game he's been slowed down so much i don't know how you recover out of these type of spots it seems to be uh, almost impossible for me to recover out of these type of spots let's see if effort can make it happen another zealot coming into the natural a few more lings are going to go up to this third to finally deal with that zealot over there uh we've got the overlord in the main he sees where the stargate is he knows that he needs a hydralis den so he's got the hydra den that's been spotted he knows that the hydra den is coming there's no lair for sure uh there's been too much pressure to make a lair during all this uh and with the nine pool as well you just don't have the drones to to get that out on time so he's gonna go for the hydra den We'll see how many hydras he wants to produce. He's got five in the production tab. Let's see if he actually tries to bust here. It is a horizontal natural, and the cannons are set back, which actually makes it a lot harder to break here um, because you're going to need range in order to break this, uh, to get, get through this because you can't hit these cannons back here. He's going to make a couple of cannons, I think, right here. Two cannons right there would be perfect. And then there's really not a good way to kill this forge. Um, there's a range upgrade on the way. Five hydras are going to make their way forward here. But a zealot made its way all the way around the map. And it's going to come into the third. Dude, I would be pounding my fist on my keyboard when I saw this zealot run walk into my third base. How the hell did that make it all the way over there? That is so annoying. He's going to lose so much mineral mining time here. It's crazy. He's just going to dive in, kill this cannon at the front. And this is not to try and kill. He's just going to get this forge. The forge is the target here. Dude, this, this freaking zealot, man. This is such an OP zealot. Oh my god, this thing is just killing it. It denied so much money from effort. It's crazy. It is crazy how much money he's losing because of that. This zealot is worth its weight in gold. And it got a drone as well. Oh my. Oh my god. It's so painful. He might even get a hydra too. Dude. Are you kidding me? He got a hydra. Man, that zealot is MVP this game. Absolute MVP. Sees the number of cannon. He sees it's only three, but he's only got four hydras here at the front. Not really too much he can do to break through. 50 probes to 28 or 48 to 28 so a full 20 probe advantage here for our protoss player oh 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 12 hp of course dude <laughs> oh it just gets worse and worse effort can he bring this one back man it it feels like it feels it feels impossible it really does this is, this is my feeling on the ladder in so many of my games when things have just gone this wrong. Um, and all you're doing is building Hydras. Uh, I don't know if he can do this. I mean, he's going to try. We are pre-storm. This is a pre-storm timing. He's gone for like five hatch Hydra. Let's see if he can get in here and kill these uh, cannons. The probes are being pulled. He hasn't pulled enough probes. The zealots are just tanking there in the front. Some more zealots are going to come out. He kills one of the cannons, but another three are about to warp in. He jumps forward. He kills another cannon. He's going to get another one. Oh, my God. The cannons are falling very, very rapidly. More hydras are coming up here. The zealots still don't have that speed. He runs forward. Another cannon will finish up. He needs to make two more at least here. He's got 500 minerals in the bank. Pull the probes, goddamn you. What are you doing? One more cannon falls. Why are the probes sitting in the mineral line right now? We need to get them out here. Effort is all in right now. He's got almost nothing back at home. 27 workers. He's got half your workers. Get your probes to the front, man. Finally, Storm does finish, and he's got almost the energy for that. 60 energy on these. And it looks like our Protoss player will hold. Dude, Protoss players are just so dumb. What are you doing? 
What are you doing, man? Complaining about uh, go online and complain about the Hydra bus more and just not just don't do what you need to do to hold it It's crazy It is crazy Burrow on the way right now interesting finally an Evo chamber and this is why I was saying that this is so all-in We don't we don't have the drone count of course drones can be reproduced quickly, but the uh, upgrades are light years behind and they're gonna stay that way Unfortunately, we're gonna get one Evo chamber. We're gonna start plus one, but plus one plus one is gonna finish up here soon Even though we uh, killed the forge there at the front because of the follow-up attack here our Mid and late game is just dog right now. It's terrible It really is horrible finally gonna finish the layer. We'll be able to get uh, Overlord speed here shortly Shuttle is on the way he can stand out here in the front all he wants, but eventually a shuttle will come uh, for that main base. And he probably won't see it coming. There'll probably be a DT. Uh, he's spreading his Hydras now, which is is great. Keep your Hydra list spread. Make sure there's no dark part of the map. Like, even right here, you gotta make sure that he can't slip out there. Dark Archon in the back, just in case there was a Metalist transition. A really good idea here by our Protoss, and... Looks like that's gonna get spotted. Here comes that shuttle. He's totally gonna snipe this effort. Get it. That's the first step. That is the first step to uh, a comeback here. Effort picks off the shuttle, prevents any damage, and he's gotten himself to 51 drones. It's still not a great situation, but it is a playable one. Burro. Oh, dude. Effort. I love you so much, man. What are you doing? This is crazy. This is gonna be so awesome. He's gonna try and catch some Templar that are coming out here. So when the army moves, you see that the Templar usually lag a bit behind. And so what he's gonna do is he's gonna wait for the army to walk over, and then he'll unbro and try to snipe those Templar at the back of the army. It's quite the move. You don't see it very often. Lurker's gonna morph here at the front. That's kind of funny. He's trying to break this, but at the same time, he is going for the base in the top right. He knows that he can't actually do this. He has to back up. Lings are coming out now. Ling's speed is being researched hilariously. Um, okay, Lings are just gonna kind of die here. We don't want to throw those away just yet. We're not at, like, uh, you know, six base late game where you can just start throwing away lings like crazy. Uh, 11 meters on the way. The Dark Archon is here, man. Oh boy, he's gonna try and bring himself back with the late game Mutalist transition. Try to snipe a bunch of Templar, maybe. Oh, where are the... Aw, oh, okay. There's a there's a observer, unfortunately. So the, the Burrow play, we're not gonna see it get used here. That is sad. It's too bad. Um, he didn't try to do it like up here or something. Maybe if you put lurkers up here or sorry burrowed uh, Hydras up here or something. Maybe he could have popped out and killed the probe or some pylons or some or killed the probe or some cannons or I don't know Templar or something, but he's kind of dancing around with these mutas There's 11 mutas and we've got a dark arc on here in the back Is he gonna end up getting sniped a lot of creep colonies coming down in the front right now? He wants to hold this off Ah, uh, the, the maelstrom. Oh, you gotta dodge this maelstrom. Cannot fight with the maelstrom available. That maelstrom's so scary. A bunch of lurker eggs. I mean, a great target for these storms. Running forward. He snipes both the observers. Beautiful snipes there. Coming around the side. He's actually gonna go for the main base. I love it. Oh, this is so good. This is so good by effort. Just goes to the main. He knows that there's no... Uh, Corsairs and that is the Protoss is just relying on this Dark Archon for all of his Mutalus defense So going after the main here. He could kill the Nexus. He could absolutely kill the Nexus He could go for this Templar Archives Alternatively as well. Where are these Mutas going? Oh my god Wait, are you kidding me? Where are these going? I'm gonna come back here. Oh, I think the Dark Archon died. Wait a second. The Dark Archon's dead. He's gonna come in I don't have to picture and picture that as well. He's going for it. 
Diving on top of the Templar. Two Templar are gonna end up going down. Does he get a third? Three Templar, can he get a fourth? Oh, he gets the, oh, he went for the Observer. A, a great pick off there, but all the Lurkers go down to the Storms and now he doesn't have any Lurkers. He can't hold this off. He's only got five Mutalists left. Lings are popping out, but Zealots are going to work on the drones now. A bunch of Lurker Ling coming from behind. Can he finish this off? He's got to jump on top of these Zealots. Going after the Zealots now with the Mutas, but they get stormed. Brutal storms there, dealing a ton of damage. And dude, I think the Protoss is barely going to crack through here. Lurkers will form up, but Observers have reached the front line as well. And with the Observers here, he will be able to crack through. Dude, a crazy, crazy game here. What a series, guys. Three games of absolute madness. I guess, except for the first game. The first game, probably the most standard and just uh, solid play from Effort. But these were some great games. I love the ideas coming here from Effort. It was really solid for him uh, to try and make this game a comeback to try and come back in this game it's not an easy position at all the attack with the mutas into the main was so smart that was genius that was a stroke of genius i don't know about coming back and fighting the army here i think he could just leave these here and create a lot of havoc as long as they're in here just creating havoc you know maybe the protest player uh you know is not paying as much attention Maybe you can snipe a few more things. Maybe you can hold him here. But as soon as he started bringing this back, the Protoss player just punched through. Um, and the, the snipes on the Templar were a bit too late. It's okay. That was a great game. A really, really solid showing here from Effort. He might not be totally at his tip top yet, but he's putting out some fantastic games already. And that's what we want. What we came here to see. That's what we want to see from Effort is some great games. Uh, and him to come back and just be that Zerg in the ASL once again. So, that's it for this three-game series of Effort versus Protoss. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.